Yo, what's good everybody? It's your boy iPod King Carter here. Uh today I wanted to talk to you guys about NBA 2K25 specifically. Um this is a follow-up video to the video that I dropped that talked about the two new features to the game that no one will use. This video is actually talking about the two new features in NBA 2K25 that everyone will use. So today we're going to be talking about two main topics, but before we hop into that, um, make sure you get your comment uh, fingers ready because I want to know how you feel about these modes simply because, you know, I'm kind of going off of like how I feel. But I also want to say an honorable mention before I get into those two topics. Um, a lot of people have been talking about the mod court. Now, if you weren't playing NBA 2K prior to like next gen times, you would know all about the mod court, what it has to offer and everything like that. But the mod court simply just isn't a new feature. It's actually a feature that has been brought back to the NBA K NBA 2K lifestyle. So that's why that won't make the list. I know a lot of people probably going to be in the comments talking about, yo, my court is going to be so crazy. We're going to be able to do wagers. We're going to be able to work on our shots or dribble moves. We're going to be able to play against friends, AI, all of that. Trust me, I know, but it's not a new feature. All right, so without further ado, let's talk about the first feature on the list. Proving grounds. Compete and competition has kind of been a mantra for the team this year. I really feel honestly like it's an area we've kind of lacked in years past. So I really wanted a place to drive home competition in the city. And this year we're introducing a new game mode called Proving Grounds. It is the ultimate place for competition in the city this year. It's ranked play. There's four different modes you can play in. There's 1v1, 2v2, 3v3, 5v5. It's comp level sliders, shot meters are turned off. The top 100 players in each of the four modes will have their global rank displayed right on their gamer plate, their banner at the bottom of the screen. So you can really run around the city and flex how good you are in this particular mode. The leaderboards reset every season. We're giving out prizes for the top five in each game mode. They're really good prizes. You want to compete for them. And above all, this is just a place for people to go in and show off what their skills are. It's a really fun place to play, and anyone who participates in Proving Grounds this year will be earning the best rep in the city in 2K25. So, of course, that explanation doesn't give it complete justice, but I actually have a courtside report here to actually go over everything that Proving Grounds has to offer and why it's going to be one of the most used features inside the game. Let's go over the courtside report. So, from the courtside report, you see here that Proving Grounds is the new home for heightened competition in the city. It has a Kazalium inspired arena for 1v1, 2v2, 3v3, and 5v5. Now, we'll talk more about 5v5 in a moment because I know that a couple people have questions about that. But basically, it's going to be the best rep in NBA 2K25 in the city. So that means that it's going to be over part, it's going to be over pro am, it's going to be over rec. They're saying that Proving Grounds is where all of the rep and everything lies. And I'm going to tell you why. So as they come down, um, we can actually go over the tiers. We don't have to talk about, you know, the tiers in a whole. It's just what comes with the specific tiers. Now, at Bronze, this is just where everybody starts. Once you get the silver, your, your name is going to be on the game plate. But when you get to gold, you get a plus 10% rep to every game. And you get a 100 VC win bonus every single game that you play in the gold tier on your way to platinum. Once you get the platinum, you get a 25% boost to your rep. Every single game that you're playing in platinum tier and you get 250 bonus per win every single game. Now, when you get the diamond, if you, if you even just stay in diamond for a long time, you get plus 50% rep. That is insane, including a 500 VC win bonus every single game that you play in Diamond. Now, of course, if you're one of them type of sweats and you got a sweaty team and y'all just going to run through the competition, then you will get two times rep every single game for the rest of the entire season of NBA 2K25 each season. So I know it sounds crazy, but let me explain it. Now, each season, it resets, just like everything else resets in 2K. Basically, 2K is trying to mold everyone into understanding that they want seasonal content, and they're going to give you seasonal feel. So everything resets, and you have to fight from bronze in the new season, which would be season two, of course, all the way back up to top rank if you could. But you, if you start there, you have a chance to get two times rep. If you can make it to to the to the top rank, 
you have a chance to get in two times rep every single time you play the game. Every time you go into the lobby, every time you go into matchmaking, every time you go to the squad and, and get your squad and go into proven grounds, you have a chance at 50%. Now, of course, me, I'm one of those people that are against things resetting, but at the same time, I do understand that some players don't want to have other players have an advantage all year long with the rep. So it's really going to be one of those things where if you want to get to that rep, you have to do it every single season. If you want to hit a specific rep, you feel what I'm saying? Now, of course, the VC bonus is not slighted either. Like if you think about it, if you can get 50% rep for every 5v5 game, you're potentially winning I would say a, an extra 1,000 to sometimes even 1,500, depending on like if teammates quit, and I mean, not teammates, but opponents quit and stuff like that. You have a possibility to get up to 1,500 to 2,000 extra VC on top of whatever your other winnings would be from your performance every single hour. So essentially, that's why I say that this will be one of the most played features and used features because of its rep bonus and it's vc bonus and the simple fact that when you go into the proving grounds i have to I have the disclaimer this for y'all you will not have a shot meter it will be comp sliders which that my court that i was telling you all about in the beginning of the video you can go into the my court change the sliders to comp sliders and play against ai and play against your friends to see how you do on a stage like that and no, I'm not talking about the stage, you, all y'all anti up heads out there. I'm talking about to see how you do on that difficulty level to see if you are even thinking about pr trying to go to proven grounds and want to compete. Can you do it consistently? And that's what the my court is for. That's why I brought it up in, in the beginning of the video, because if you do that, then you'll know like, oh, yeah, proven grounds would be easy for me. We finna run through this. And another thing you could do with your IRL homies or if you're going to go out and get, you know, some sweats or content creators or whatever to ball with you, y'all can all go in there and figure out if y'all mesh well together, if y'all builds work well together, and if everybody can shoot, everybody can, you know what I'm saying, defend, pass, all that inside of that comp setting. You know what I'm saying? So, like, it's literally, like, it's going to be the number one used feature in this game. Now, let's talk about why I say something about 5v5. So the biggest question in the room when Proven Grounds was actually announced was how is the 5v5 going to work? 5v5 part just seems weird for 5v5 just only to go to 21. But actually, a couple content creators asked the big question in the room and of course they got a response from Zach. So basically, a uh, Laker fan reached out and said, you know, he, he don't know about the 5v5 to 21. Double H asked if uh, Ronnie or Zach could clear it up. And Zach said 5v5 is more like rec full games. So all I'm saying is the post guy said just kill Pro Am with one tweet. That's none of my business though. You know what I'm saying? But if 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 2K is gonna come out and blatantly say that this new feature is going to give the best rep in the entire city, you can't let that go in one ear and out the other. You have to listen, you have to understand, you have to say to yourself. Is the comp setting worth getting to my goal? So go ahead, drop your comments. Let me know how you feel about it. Let me know if you'll use this feature. Let me know if you're going to stay away from it. It might be a little bit too sweaty for you. Let me know. Now, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I have a little bit of bias here because as I create content for NBA 2K25, I will want to reach out to the actual community, whether it's IKC Nation from my side, whether it's my Discord, my Twitch, my YouTube, Twitter, TikTok, or whatever the case may be, or even IG DMs. But for the most part, I will be using the Squad Finder feature in NBA 2K25 to actually play with real people to actually get on the mic with actual people that's actually in the trenches playing the game instead of typing on my little keyboard asking for players trying to figure out who wants to play with me trying to figure out a time a place or whatever when i could just literally hop into nba 2k and say i need to 
I need people that's probably going to be on some casual shit today just for funnies. You know what I mean? Not locked in, not saying nothing. You know what I'm saying? I want to actually play with people that's going to talk to each other, laugh at certain moments, rage a little bit, and actually get content out of that. And while competition was, you know, a major goal for the team this year, fun is ever at the top of our list. Another fun thing we added to the game this year is called the Squad Finder. It is a place for you, like the name says, to go find like-minded players who are trying to achieve the same goals you are. It's a great way for you to establish some new connections, build some chemistry with new players to compete with. Now, of course, I know you're probably thinking like, bro, but that's what you would do. But hear me out. For people that just get on a game that like lobby systems, this is gonna be one of the biggest features used simply because a lot of people when theater first came out, they wasn't feeling it. It's like, oh, I'm not, I don't really care about theater. Theater is literally one of the most played modes from NBA 2K24. People don't even know that. You might not think that the theater is used. Most casual players, most players that just want to get on for an hour or two a day, they go to the theater because those games are immediate. They hop into that little uh, lobby system. Two players load in. If they like what they see, they go into a game. Sometimes they'll even hit the X button and be locked into a game because if you turn your head for a split second to look back at the screen, you already, the game already started. You know what I'm saying? It ain't like the dots where you got to sit, wait, people come over and inspect your bill while they're on the dots before that third person come. Like, nah, I'm cool. I don't want to play with that 77. That's what happens in NBA 2K24. But with NBA 2K25, you can find a squad finder. You can meet these people. You can play rec with them. You can play, go to the mock court with them. You can play threes with them. You can even... Once you meet them, y'all can add each other and stuff like that, and then go to the theater. There's many options, or if y'all feel like y'all good enough, and y'all, from the first part, most used feature, Proven Grounds, if y'all play together for a few games and y'all feel like y'all really, really good, y'all end up going to the mod court, become friends, realize y'all mesh really, really well, y'all hit the Proven Grounds and make it to gold and start winning games on gold and getting rep and getting VC, extra bonuses. It's crazy, right? Now... I want to actually explain what Squad Finder is to y'all and show y'all what it looks like and show you different places it is at in the game, all right? So first things first, as you start your competitive journey, we recommend visiting the Rise and Elite Affiliation Parks, each with two new novice-friendly casual courts. I'm going to be honest with you. After a few casual games, if you keep winning, you out of there. You know what I'm saying? They're not, going, they're not even going to let you back on them casual courts, but uh, with easier difficulty, these 2v2 and 3v3 courts do not allow squads and are restricted to the lowest performance meter status, offering a more casual environment without the pressure of facing seasoned veterans. Here you can learn how to play alongside others, and while you still earn in progress, once you graduate to the hooper status, you won't be able to get next on these courts anymore and will be ready to move on to the more challenging competition around the city. So, I say skip that. I say skip the casual courts mainly because squad finder is here if you're not looking for the seasoned veterans squad finders right there you can you can utilize squad finder as soon as the game drops that's what's insane like you don't have to wait until next season to use it um we've also added a new squad finder feature that assists with finding your perfect team you can select your preferences squad size the play style the microphone status the overall rating range performance range and affiliation to be connected with other like-minded players looking for a squad to run with. It's a great way to establish new connections, build chemistry and compete together. But as you look at the screenshot here, um, I'm actually going to go to a tweet to show you what it looks like uh, a little bit blown up. Um, you can choose your squad size. Like you said, uh, squad size of three, see where the, the play style says time to sweat. Obviously in this screenshot, this player that, that pulled it to the squad finder is looking for comp teammates um microphone status is any on or off the overall range is 94 to 99 obviously when we start nba 2k 25 you won't be able to find anybody at that overall unless you on pc i ain't hey i ain't say it i ain't say it but i think pc is gonna have a hell of a time this year they're gonna be doing a lot of uh modding over there but you know when you get into console gaming and then obviously it says performance range from casual to baller so obviously Hooper is inside the middle of casual to baller, of course, probably, or baller might be right before Hooper or whatever the case may be. But if this play style is time to sweat and you only going with a casual performance, like those two don't add up. But the elite affiliation, I'm not going to lie to y'all. We're not going there. I'm going to rise. If you going to rise, I see you in rise. 
I'm not going to elite. It look it look it looked too shady to me. It looked too shady to me. But um yeah, so I also wanted to show you guys what it would look like inside the rec center as well. So we have another uh tweet from someone uh from the actual trailer, but this squad finder is sitting directly inside the rec. So just imagine going into the rec, being in whatever lobby you're in, going to the squad finder and being able to pick from a pool of people that are literally looking for squad, looking for people, and y'all all come together before y'all walk in. That's that that seems like a fire feature to me because guess what? A lot of people out there, they constantly hit the X button, go in, sit there for a few minutes, so people people load in, and then they look around and they're like, yo, I ain't even want to ball with these people. I'm out. They see one wrong uh plate, player plate, whether it's black, brown, you know what I'm saying, not even silver. And they just leave. Now you have the option to do all of that searching prior to the game. So you don't have to worry about going in and out of lobbies, constantly getting drop error connections and stuff like that. You just get right into it. I mean, now with that being said, those are the two features that I think NBA 2K25 has brought to the game, which is really, really dope. And the ones that will be most used by every user across the board in NBA 2K25. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know how you feel. Again, honorable mention is definitely my court, but again, it is not a new feature. Proving Grounds and Squad Finder is all new, and and, it, and I promise you, they will be all consuming. That's just that's just me. But um, I appreciate y'all for watching this video. Uh, make sure you guys drop a like. Make sure y'all, you know what I mean, comment, share this with a friend. You know what I'm saying, and and see if this is something that your friend is even interested in. You know what I'm saying? Because maybe you just might be hearing about this, but your friend might be might be really be on the fence about what they want to do like if they want to come back to 25 or if they don't and maybe this might be one of those modes where you might be able to get your friend to go get your get a ps5 or a, or a brand new xbox and actually game with you because i i know that there are a lot of people out there that over the years as we keep growing up you know your time keeps trickling down down and down and with nba 2k you've constantly been on the fence about like is the game going to be good this year Am I going to be able to have fun? Am I going to be able to defend? Am I going to be able to play offense? All of those things keep coming to your mind. But the number one thing, and I put up 11, but the number one thing that you have to remember, NBA 2K or any video game for that matter, is only as fun as it is being able to play with your friends online. So for all of these games that keep coming out with online features, multiplayer features, and things of that nature, if our friends aren't able to get online with us, we have less fun. So if this, these two features are two new features that can actually get you and your friends back on together, that's a vibe that makes, that turns everything into a W. Like anything else besides that, it's a little finicky. But, you know, hopefully you share this with your friends and they'd be like, you know what? Pop might be spitting. We might get back on this year. Let me, and let me know, you know what I'm saying? But I appreciate y'all for watching, and uh, I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace. King Kong, King Kong, King Kong, Abba. King Kong, King Kong, King Kong, Abba. King Kong, King Kong.